when I was a young father, I, I hid chocolate from my children. <laughs> and now as a grandparent, I hide it from my grandkids. And for good reason. I mean, sometimes you need a me-only stash of chocolate safe from little fingers and mouths. And sometimes my survival depends on it. I mean, if I didn't get my chocolate to smooth things over, their lives could be in danger. I not only hid my candy, but I'm, I hide my eating of it, but it, it seldom works. I mean, their hearing is sharp. Plus, whose bright idea was it to put candy bars in the noisiest wrappers ever? I mean, if someone would make a soundproof candy bar wrapper, they would make billions. They also have the nose of a bloodhound. They can smell chocolate a mile away. I smell chocolate. Who's eating chocolate? I don't smell chocolate. You know, strangely enough, this chocolate hiding of mine reminds me of a story about Jesus in the seventh chapter of the book of Mark. Jesus' fame has been spreading. His reputation for healing people, for casting out demons, for changing lives has just become widely known. And he, he would enter a city and the crowds would just throng him. And in Mark chapter 6, it tells us that it was so bad and his disciples were so tired that he sent them away into the desert to rest. But it didn't work. The crowd soon found out and surrounded him, and he ministered to them late into the night, healing their sick. But Mark chapter 7 tells us an interesting thing in verse 24. It says, He entered a house and did not want anyone to know it, yet he could not keep his presence a secret. Kind of like my chocolate bar, only one billion times more. I mean, Jesus is compelling. He's life-changing. He's transformative. Yes, but you know, often we keep him hidden away. A, a lot of times we, we try to compartmentalize Jesus. We brag about him at church and around our Christian friends. We sing hymns and say hallelujah, but we fail to mention him when we go outside those four walls of the church and out at work and in our neighborhood. But the sweetness of Jesus is not something that we need to hide from anybody. If Jesus is real in your life, then at least you should not hide it. I mean, if if you've been enjoying him in secret, then maybe it's time to unwrap him and start sharing him with those around you. You know, we jokingly said that we can't survive without chocolate, but the truth is we can't survive without Jesus. No one can. And it's time that we unwrapped him, came out of hiding, and shared him with others. Listen. When it comes to Jesus, there's plenty of him to go around. He's God in the flesh, the Savior of the world. So let's unwrap him, come out of hiding, and let's share him with those around us. And it'll sweeten their life up for sure. Well, I kind of convicted my own self in a way. Well, here goes. Hey boys, y'all want a chocolate payday? <laughs>